So we're given this decimal here. It's 0 0.2301230123012301. Basically, 0 0.02301 repeating forever, never ends. Right? And we want to put it in terms of a fraction such that you have like a over 1 minus r. Okay, so that a is really a constant. That's the same as 1 over 1 minus r. So, and r is the fraction increasing. So you'll see what I mean. So if we were to pull out 0 0.2301, you'd say that's the same as 1 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 0, 0, 1, right? Because that's the correct number. Plus 0 0.0001 squared plus dot, 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 okay? So that's this right here in terms of other parts. So we can say that our A is equal to 0 0.2301, and then our R is equal to 0 0.001, 0 0.0001, 0 .001, sorry, which is the same as 1 over 10,000. Right? Is that the right number of numbers? Yeah. So, same as 1 over 10,000. Okay. So then, if we're going to plug in our values into this, we have the, that repeating decimal of 0 0.2301 is equal to 0 0.2301 times 1 over, oh, right on top, 0 0.2301 divided by 1 minus um, 0 0.0001, okay? That comes out to be 0 0.2301 divided by 0 0.9999. Mhm. Mm so, if we multiply everything by 10,000, we have 2301 divided by 9999. Now, if we divide it by 3, because if you see 2 plus 3 plus 1 is 6, which is the multiple of 3, and 9 plus 9 plus 9 plus 9 is multiple of 3. So it's a trick to know when things are multiples of 3s. Divide this by 3, we have 767 over 3,333. So that's our fraction of that repeating decimal.